Hi there, my name's Dave, and in this video, I'm going to share with you my techniques and tips on how I achieved this drawing of Little Richard. So let's take a look. Right, so using HP pencil, all I do is really, first of all, is roughly get the area around. Uh, just making sure that the head is in the correct position and there's plenty of room for the body and the piano in this case. So it's basically just um, getting a rough idea where things are. And then drawing the line with the noses and the mouth and the eyes and where the ear is. It's basically just observation and all I'm doing is measuring the width against the height in comparison. So basically you're starting with big shapes so you're measuring the bottom of the chin to the top of the forehead and what as that compare with the side of the face and say the ear so whereabouts it does whereabouts it lines up with it so it's just basically comparing one measurement with the other. And basically you're just modeling the face using a pencil and then using an eraser to erase out the lines. So you don't really need to make fine lines, you can erase them fine. I'm using the click eraser there which is an amazing tool. So I'll leave a list of materials in the description below. So have a look at those at the end of the video. So just only using HP really for this. The reason I do that is because you can easily erase it out. Um, if you go in there with a, a B, B pencil straight away, it sometimes it leaves marks on your on your paper. Now I'm going in with the darker colours, lot using B. You probably use your B, uh, 4B, and 8 and 9B when I'm doing the shadows for this method. Uh, lighter areas and when I'm start filling in the mid, mid tones I'm using a selection of H pencils like 2H, H and HB. The white is a white charcoal, it's Derwent brand. use any white really but I find that this is a really good white to use so really it's getting them darks in which gives you an idea then of the extreme so you put in your whites in and your darks and then it gives you an idea of where the the mid tones the variety of tones how it compares with the extreme so you, you need to get them in as soon as possible really after you've done your basic uh, blocking drawing you notice i'm working on different areas i'm not just working on one area i'm working on the whole face at the time at the same time that way you get more of a feel for the energy that's how i feel anyway is that if i'm constantly being aware of the whole portrait there's a feeling about what you create rather than just focusing on an eye then doing the nose and the mouth but you do what you, whatever feels right but this is the way I do it I always measuring you can see I'm comparing never frightened of moving things around don't get fixated thinking, oh, that's it, I've drawn that perfect. It could change when you start putting all the shadows in and that. It's surprising the difference it makes when you put those darks, really darks in. The areas you think probably looks okay, um, maybe needs to be darker. That's why I don't go too mad with the details to start with. I'll get the overall darks and lights in then at the end just modeling things so it's correct I 
If you are getting value from this video, why not subscribe? It's absolutely free. Then you're sure not to miss any of my future videos. Let's get the basic shape of the body now before I start putting anything else in the face and get the feel that the feels correct. If there's any questions at all, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. When I do the clothes there, I'm, I'm using that like a 9, 9B uh, because it gives texture. So I needed texture to the sort of fabric, there's like a texture to it. And so um, using the 9B, it gives it like a grain, grain to it. So you've got to keep me me messing around with that and changing your strokes rather than hatch strokes, there's circles or squirrels. There's all sorts of different movements. You just let your mind go, uh, let your mind just relax and just feel it and just let the sh shapes appear. The, the, your hands just go all sorts of different directions. It's not just a case of drawing it like uh, cross hatching or hatching, it's just it might be swirls, it might be using the rubber to sort of make it um, interesting texture. Got to keep just play about with different ways. Really interesting doing chrome as well, so it makes a change. And it's all, all, it's all about the feeling of the character rather than trying to get the details in. It's about getting the emotion. See, the eyes fills in the gaps. So you don't need to put all details in. Um, just enough to make it give, it, give it that reality. 